Hey family! Can I just say that you're looking extra stunning today? Your hair is so nice, your smile is popping, and your eyes, look at those beautiful beady eyes! I have never seen something like that ever! Oh wait, was that? The family is not- They're not- Oh. Family, uh, can I ask you something? You're not a billionaire? I thought you were a billionaire. This family ain't rich? Ooh. Oh. Well, uh, in, in that case, uh, you look fine. Just okay. Decent at best. But, uh, do you know any billionaires? You don't? Fine. I'll just have to become one myself. Because today, family, we're gonna be watching a true story animation about a girl who got not one, not two, but three billionaires to fall in love with her. How did she do it? I don't know. Somebody ask her so I can take some notes. Cause I'm ready. But before we start today's video, I need you all to smash that like button, smash that like button, smash that like button, but only smash like family if you want to be a billionaire sometime in your life too. Or else you're just going to be broke forever. And I wish I was kidding. So smash like. Three boys made a bet who would make me fall in love with him first. And I got involved in the craziest love story ever. Oh man, it's already getting juicy. I was walking towards the lockers one day when I noticed the three most popular boys in school looking at me like I was some kind of snack. It was the first time in two years they'd noticed me. Then they were suddenly smiling at me. Oh, they're cute. But did someone say snack? Yeah, they might be handsome, but I think I'd still prefer a turkey sandwich. <laughs> What's going on? Hot girl summer went on, that's what? I got so nervous, I crashed straight into an open locker door and my books fell to the floor. <laughs> wow, what an entry. Seriously? Her? The nerd? Well, she is cute, but are you sure she should be our new target? She looks too innocent. Heck yeah! I'm gonna make her fall in love with me and win the bet. Get your $10 million ready, losers. We'll see about that. Did they just say make her fall in love for a bet? Oh man, this ain't real love. This the fake kind of love you can buy with a $20 bill. And a $50 bill will get you married too. Oh. Wait a sec. Hi, my name is Athena. And let me tell you how these three annoying playboys pulled me into the most confusing situation ever. I was walking down the stairs when I suddenly tripped, but someone caught me just in time. It was Andre, the guy who was literally dating half of the female population in our school. He was staring at my lips as he pulled me close. Your lips look lonely. Do they want to meet mine? No, they don't, Mr. Too Close to Touch type of dude. Like, seriously, you're too close. Back up. You might be cute, but you ain't that cute. Kind of smell a bit, too. Oh, wait, that's just your personality. Please get off me. Whoa, easy there, baby girl. I'd rather kiss a trash can, by the way. <laughs> oh, wait, what's the difference? I smiled at seeing the shocked look on his face. Walking away, I almost tripped over a random calculator someone had left on the floor. I dropped my books, and before I could pick them up, someone was doing it for me. <laughs> you should watch your step next time, princess. For a second, I was stunned to see Tanner, the guy with the biggest Instagram following. He was grinning at me, and boy, he looks like a prince. Would you mind taking a picture of me for my Insta? He pushed his phone and started posing like he was God's gift to women. Run, girl, run, you got his phone! This is the time where you take a couple selfies, tag yourself, and do some shameless self-promotion on his page. I didn't know how to react, so I put his phone down on the floor and awkwardly walked away to find an empty classroom. As I walked in, I was surprised to see someone sleeping in there. I shook his shoulder to wake him up only to gasp when I realized it was Lucas, the handsome sleepyhead. Handsome sleepyhead? Yeah, that's a new one. Nothing's handsome about being lazy. You know what's handsome? Getting off your butt and get me a sandwich. Cause I'm hungry. What are you doing here? This is my place. Oh, sorry. I didn't see your name on the door. I ignored his sarcasm and was about to head out before he spoke again. We can share this room if you want. Suddenly, the teacher came in and thought we'd been making out in there or something. Mm. She kicked us out and it was so embarrassing, even more than all the tripping over. 
I had to avoid these heartbreakers. They were called the triple threat for a reason, and I hated guys like them. After my classes were finished, I found the three of them outside waiting for someone. They all smiled at me. Uh-oh. And they all also got sports cars. I'm not saying to date them for their cars or anything, but date them for their cars. Their brains might be running slow, but at least their cars will run fast. Skirt, skirt. Hey, baby girl, I think you're an engine because my car won't start without you. Come on, princess. Let's get out of here. I'll give you a ride home. Lucas just gave me a nod and signaled for me to get in. What in the world was happening? I hurriedly walked out of the gate to avoid them. When I entered the cafeteria the next day, I was greeted with milkshakes, coffees, burgers, and nuggets. It was the boys again. Did somebody say nuggets? All right, Athena, I think we got a winner. If he can get you nuggets, he can also get your heart. I turned them all down and chose to sit on a table alone as I ate. I heard some girls behind me talking about me. Seriously? Why are they after that lame junior? It must be a prank. There's no way they'd notice her otherwise. She's ugly. I was furious. I had to know if I was really the target of a stupid prank. A few days later, as I was passing by the boys' locker room, I noticed that the door was slightly open. I saw the trio inside. I hid behind a locker to listen. God, what is that smell? Do boys even shower? Give me two days, and she'll be following me around like a puppy. I don't think so. She's kind of challenging. Nah, she's just playing hard to get, Tanner. You guys should learn from me. I couldn't believe it. These players had put a bet on me. I'd show them. They'd pick the wrong girl to mess with. I was going to make them pay. Let the games begin. Oh, what kind of games we talking about here, Athena? The game of stealing their underwear from the school lockers when they're in the gym? Or the game of smashing their heads into the concrete like a smushing a big fly? Because personally, that's my favorite. The next day, while I was walking to school, I noticed a familiar sports car following me. Hop in, princess. It was Tanner. This time I got in. Let's see what his deal is. During the ride, I spilled my coffee over his squeaky clean dashboard on purpose. Oops, sorry, I'm just so clumsy. I was expecting him to get mad about it, but instead, he reached for some tissues and cleaned my hands with them. I found myself staring at him while my heart raced. No, 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 it was all just an act. Get a grip, Athena. When we reached school, he helped me get out of the car. Right. Slow down. Geez, I'm not blind. Seems like it sometimes. I glared at him. Is there something you want to say? He just flashed a big smile and turned to fix his hair in the car window. So annoying. I walked off to class. Halfway through the lesson, when the teacher had her back to us, someone from the table next to me whispered, Psst. I looked up to see that it was Andre. Why'd you come here with Tanner? You know guys like him are jerks who will just break your heart. You know I'm totally serious about you. Then he kissed my hand. Oh, please. How serious are you? Save it, bro. We know you're good for nothing just like your other two billionaire friends. Y'all are all sneaky. And then he tries to hit her with the, I'm not like the rest of the boys. Yeah. I'm not buying it. The only thing I'd buy from you is that sports car. And only if you gave it to me for free. Hmm. <laughs> Had to do it a second time. You deserved it. There's no number to express. Then prove it to me. Sure, baby girl. But how? I'll tell you about it at lunch. I can't wait. I swear. I'll do anything for you. Lunchtime came and he was already waiting. I wanted to ruin his reputation. Especially in front of the girls. Do so it. I whispered my dare to him and his eyes grew wide. If I do it, will you be my girlfriend? I nodded. He immediately walked to the front of the cafeteria. That dude just walked across the room like he just pooped his pants. I don't think he got a billion dollars. More like he's gonna need a million diapers to pick all that up. Ugh. Jumped on a table and shouted, I have something to confess. I wet my bed every night and I don't know what to do anymore. I burst out <laughs> laughing when he made a whole drama out of it while fake crying. But to my surprise, the girls started comforting him. What? My plan had backfired. So I sneaked out of the room, devastated. The next day, while I was reaching for a book in the library, Lucas suddenly appeared and grabbed it for me. I gave him a smile, but he just nodded. While I was doing my homework, he sat across from me and started reading a book. I waited for him to say hello or something, but he totally ignored me. 
Oh, I get it. He was using the snobbish bad boy style. I moved beside him and leaned in. Are you mute or does your breath just stink? I was oh. caught off guard when he grinned. Do you really want to know? I immediately pulled away when our lips almost touched. I cleared my throat and got myself back on track. Are you free tomorrow? I just need someone to go somewhere with me. Wait, hold on, girl, hold on. Are you falling for this? Because it seems to me like you just asked him out. The dude is literally reading a book titled How to Make the Girl in Front of Me Fall in Love with Me. Bad boy approach. Girl, you getting played. And not played like a beautiful instrument. Played like you're on some awkward reality TV show where they a whole bunch of slime all over you and then you just look like a fool well you kind of are one if you're buying all this crap are you free tomorrow i just need someone to go somewhere with me yeah sure whatever later that night i did a little research on lucas and grinned when i read a comment about him having a phobia of heights in one of his instagram posts he was surprised when i brought him to an amusement park the next day i forced him to try all the rides and i was laughing my butt off whenever he screamed like a girl stop being such a wuss lucas let's try the pirate ship one more time just then he started throwing up and i couldn't stop laughing okay family i had it wrong She's He's definitely trolling him. I wanted to have more fun, so I acted like I'd sprained my ankle and let him carry me all around the place. Then I asked him to buy me some fries. When he bought them, I said, oh shoot, I'm also craving a banana split and a cheeseburger. I could barely stop myself from laughing at his annoyed face. Poor guy later fell asleep on the bench while I ate all the food. All of a sudden, I screamed in his ear. He jolted awake and asked what had happened. I told him that I was just thirsty and I needed some soda. He finally snapped. Buy it yourself, girl. Jeez, you're so annoying. Oh. And just like that, Lucas gave up. One down, two to go. Andre continued pestering me at school while Lucas was nowhere to be found. During lunch, Tanner sat beside me and asked me if I'd like to go on a date with him to the Bahamas. I want to get to know you first before going anywhere alone with you. Uh, no? Okay, girl, I know what you're doing and I respect it. But if Buddy wants to bring you on a free trip to the Bahamas, you should probably go. Hot sun, beautiful beach, the apple juice? Come on now, lady. I know you're trying to make them look stupid, but the only one who's looking stupid here now is you. Because nobody turns down a free all-inclusive trip. It's like the rule of living. Do we gotta tell you everything? <sighs> I don't even know anything about your family. Not a problem. You could join us for dinner tonight. I did a happy dance on the inside. Everything was going according to plan. I told him that I'd come myself, so I just asked his address. That night, I borrowed my friend's hyperactive cats and brought them with me. Tanner looked so happy as he opened the door. My mom's out, so no one can babysit them. I put the basket down and the cats started running everywhere, scratching paintings and knocking over expensive vases. Sorry, they get their clumsiness from their mama. He looked totally unaffected. Your kittens are adorable, like you. Come on, dinner's ready and they're all waiting for you. His parents looked so sophisticated, and I was surprised to see that he had four little sisters. They all flocked around me like it was their first time seeing a girl. I started fake crying when dinner was served. What's wrong? I don't eat chicken. <laughs> Poor little creatures. His mom asked me, Oh, are you vegetarian? No, only for chickens. Chicken saved my life one time when I was crossing the road. Tanner immediately told the cook to change my food, and when we started eating, my cat suddenly jumped on the table and turned everything into a disaster. The look of horror on the faces of the Tanner family was epic. Sorry. I was shocked when his mom took the cats and started petting them. Unbelievable. It's fine. They're just asking for some love. I then placed my feet on the table and let out the loudest burp. Thanks for the splendid meal. Anything for you. Darn. He was such a good actor. After dinner, his mom showed me their family albums, and I couldn't help but notice how cute baby Tanner was. As I watched him play with his sisters, I realized that he wasn't really a self-absorbed jerk after all. While heading out that night, I tripped over something as usual. 
and dropped my glasses. Tanner picked them up from me and looked at my bare face lovingly. W wow, your beauty is so unreal, so perfect. Wait, what's going on here? Are they having a moment? I realized that he was actually talking to me. I felt my heart beating faster. He looked so sincere, and it made me feel like I was the most beautiful girl in the world. Athena? Athena? Are you falling for this boy? Cause you better not be. Your heart is beating so fast that I can hear it from here. This boy's about to make you have a heart attack. And how are you supposed to go to the Bahamas if you have a heart attack, huh? Spoiler alert, you can't. So calm down. Apparently, my efforts to get rid of him hadn't worked tonight, but why was I smiling? The next day, Andre sneaked in through my window. Mm. Why are you here? There's a party nearby. Come on. I told him that parties weren't my thing, and besides, I didn't have anything to wear. Say no more, baby girl. Come with me. I needed to mess with him more, so I went with him to the mall. He bought me a cute red dress and gave me a makeover. Wow, you look like someone I know. Who? My next girlfriend. Oh, please. I went to the party with Andre, and everyone was shocked upon seeing me. While dancing with Andre, I couldn't help but notice Tanner and Lucas looking at me from across the room. A girl walked up to Tanner and started dancing with him. For some reason, the sight made my blood boil. I excused myself to the toilet, and when I came back, Andre was now dancing sweetly with another girl. Of course, he was a player, so I wasn't surprised. Lucas followed me when I went outside to the garden. I'm sorry about what happened the other day, Athena. I was so stupid for doing such a horrible thing to a pretty girl like you. Oh, wow. From a jerk to a Romeo. He really wanted to win that bet. I really like you, and I hope you feel the same way. He looked so genuine that I almost got carried away. I was about to say something, but then someone snatched me away from him. Tanner, what's your problem, dude? That's it. We need to stop this. I won't let you play with her feelings. What are you talking about? I really like her. And pigs can fly, Lucas. Before they could punch each other, Andre came over to stop them, and I just stood between them, looking like a confused little kitten. Cut it out, you idiots. She's mine. Stay out of this, loser. You're hopeless. She was about to say yes to me. Excuse me? I don't even like you. Shut up. You know what? Take the Dawn money. Here's 10 million for each of you. Just leave her alone. Did he just say 10 million? Here I am thinking that they're betting the whole time for a free meal at McDonald's when this whole time they've been betting 10 million dollars. Imagine somebody fighting over you for that much money. I wish somebody would fight over me like that. The only time I have people fighting over me is when I have my two parents fighting to see who's Feet I gotta rub next. Ugh. Best decision ever, Tanner. I was shocked. Did he just give away $20 million just like that? Tanner then grabbed my hand and said, Get out of here, Athena. You don't deserve to be treated like this. Stop pretending like you really care, Tanner. Tanner looked so furious. Cut it out. I've known about the bet all this time, and I've been playing all of you idiots. You all lose. They were all shocked at my revelation. Andre and Lucas grabbed the bags from Tanner and ran away. Yeah, that's what I would do. While Tanner just stood there, shocked. I'm sorry for everything, Athena. Goodbye. My heart sank as I watched him walk away. My wish was finally granted. The jerks had finally stopped bothering me, and I should have been happy and relieved, right? But I wasn't. The next day, my mom came running to me with shocking news. Someone called Tanner had put $10 million into our account. We're rich! Wait, what? What was he doing? I ran to the school to talk to him, but he wasn't there. For two weeks, there was no sign of Tanner. Then one day, he finally showed up with a gorgeous blonde. She was all over him. After school, I found them kissing behind the bleachers. I tore him away and asked him about the money, but he walked away saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Go away. As he walked away, I knew he was lying. So that night, I went to his house. His mom told me to wait in his room. As I looked around, I saw something that shocked me. My lost anklet. It was placed carefully on his desk. Just then, the door opened and Tanner came in. He looked shocked to see me and the anklet in my hand. Explain this. 
For a minute, he looked like he was going to deny everything. But to my surprise, he came forward and held my hand. I'm sorry I agreed to that stupid bet. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I don't want to do that anymore. I tried to forget you and what I did to you. That's why I was with that girl. Athena, I love you. I always have since the day I first spoke to you and found your anklet. Can you forgive me? Yes, Tanner, I forgive you. He looked at me expectantly. Oh, that's it? Wait, that's it? You like me back? Oh, well, now this is actually really awkward because I was just kidding. I don't actually like you, Athena. This is actually also a part of the bet. Now I get $30 million. Oh, that's it? I said I love you. Do you, uh, love me? Oh, yes, yes, that too. He rolled his eyes at me and said, I can't believe I fell in love with you. Kinda late for that. Just shut up and kiss me now. Every moment tonight, they lend me to you. What? So I guess they actually in love now. Like love, love. Like real love? Does somebody want to explain to me what that even is? Because the only love that I know is when I'm eating chicken nuggets. Everything else just seems like hate. So maybe chicken strips or chocolate cake or cotton candy. But anyways, family, I'm getting carried away. The point is that the story ended in a happy ending. Athena got $10 million. The friends got $10 million. The boy is rich. And uh, me and you, family? We don't got $10 million and we're poor. Perfect. Everybody's happy. Ooh. But anyways, family, that is all of the true story animation that I have for you today. If you liked today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to join our amazing family, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and then you won't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to go follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.